So up next, we have two fantastic women here ready to talk to you about some great information. First up, we have the uh, Miss Lee Kelly. She is the Director, Military Community Support Programs. As Director, Ms. Kelly is responsible for the leadership, management, and oversight of three centrally funded Department of Defense multi-million dollar programs, Military One Source, Military and Family Life Counseling, and the Spouse Education and Career Opportunities Program. Prior to her assignment as Director, Ms. Kelly served as Senior Program Analyst in the Office of Military Family Readiness within the Office of the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Military Community and Family Policy. Also with her, is Ms. Erica Slayton, and Ms. Slayton serves as the Program Deputy for the Military Community Support Programs Directorate within the Office of Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Military and Community Family Policy. Ms. Slayton has worked with the military community for over 10 years. Prior to joining the Office of Secretary of Defense, she worked as Family Program Communication Specialist at the National Guard Bureau and Family Readiness Officer for U.S. Marine Corps Forces Reserve and Wounded Warrior Regiment. Ms. Layton also brings a wealth of knowledge on the challenges of military life as a spouse of a retired Marine for over 20 years. Please give us a warm welcome for Ms. Lee Kelly and Erica Slayton. This military life will ask much of you and the best that is inside you will bring it every day. Your best will make each of us better and stronger. Your mastery of the task at hand will be in your hands. Those around you will depend on you as you depend on them. And there is one source that stands ready to assist, to answer your questions and to care about your quality of life, your readiness and resilience. One source, one voice, steady and true. As a member of our military community, with Military One Source, you and your family at home need never be alone. With Military One Source, along with the resources on your installation, you have a team on your side to answer questions or give information in support of you and your family's well being. With Military One Source, you have this promise to be the one source that stands ready to assist as you master military life, to give you expert support and information that is proven and practical. To be there day and night, wherever you are, when you need a trusted voice, private and confidential. To have answers you can depend on in pursuit of your best mill life. To be one dedicated community whose sole mission is you. Military One Source is your resource for living your best mill life. From deployment to money questions, to your next PCS, health and wellness, to parenting, career opportunities, non-medical counseling, and more. All to help you and your family reach your goals, help maintain our lethal force, and thrive in this military life. Standing by to serve 24-7. Military One Source, connecting you to your best mill life. Good afternoon, everyone. That was our two-minute uh, theatrical trailer for Military One Source, the movie. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, my name is Lee Kelly. I hope I'm allowed to be here today. I'm an enlisted Army veteran, uh, so I know I'm in the wrong branch, but I uh, am very grateful to have the invitation to be here with you today. I'm also a social worker and director of military community support programs. Um, as was shared in the introduction, my office oversees Military One Source, the Military and Family Life Counseling Program, and the Spouse Education and Career Opportunities Program. Um, before we jump in and get started today, I want to ask uh, is anyone in the audience, was anyone in the audience on the Delta 730 flight out of Atlanta to Montgomery last night? Raise your hand, 730 Delta, Atlanta to Montgomery. Okay, I see, I see a hand. I just want to thank anyone on that flight uh, for being here today and not accepting the $1,000 American Express gift card to give up your seat. Very much, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, anyone at the Atlanta airport, did anyone receive a chill drill from me yesterday at the Atlanta airport? One of the little MP3 players. Okay, great. Uh, what about one of our research, research booklets that talks about non-medical counseling from the plane? I was giving those out on the plane. Anyone? 
No, okay. Well, those were just precursors to today's briefing, so I'll be delving in and connecting the dots on some of those materials that I was sharing last night. Uh, speaking of um, those materials, and I know we just watched the video and the phone number was actually up there, but I don't know if anyone out there has a photographic memory. Does anyone in the audience know the phone number for Military One Source? Anyone off the top of their heads? I hear, I hear murmurings, but maybe no number. Does Google. anyone have the, what is it? Google. Google, okay, yes, okay. Well, even better though, does anyone have the Military One Source phone number in their phones? Does anyone in this room have a phone on them right now? <laughs> if you have a phone, will you hold it in the air? Yeah, there we go. I see some phones going up. Can you keep them up? Anyone have a phone with them today? If you do, I know, it'll be like a concert. Can you turn it on and it's just like a light, you know? We'll make the video play, the music in the background. Okay, if you have a phone, I ask that you hold it up. I'm seeing some phones, I'm seeing some folks who don't want to raise it up. Raise it up. Okay, here is my request to you now. Can you open up a new contact? Right now, as we're sitting here together for the next hour, can you open up a new contact for Military One Source and put in, I see people doing it, thank you, uh, put in 1 800 342 9647. So it's a new contact for Military One Source, 1 800 342 9647. And if over the course of the next hour, Neither Erica nor myself share, share anything that would be of use. You can go ahead and delete the contact. But we hope that you're going to find the contact number beneficial uh, for yourself, but especially for the airmen that you're leading. So that's the challenge to us, is to share something with you over the next hour that you're not aware of about Military One Source. So to get started, our objective here today is to share with you what we can do for you. We want to also share our program fundamentals, share the tools that you can use, and answer any questions that you have. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with an answer to the first question, what can we do for you? Well, first and foremost, we can reduce stress and anxiety in your units. We can also support military spouse employment, we can provide one-on-one -on -one financial counseling, and we can be a 24-7, one-stop resource for information and referrals on every aspect of military life. I want to zero in on that first point first, um, and that's that we can reduce stress and anxiety in your units. I think it's really important to start with this one um, because we see um, declining utilization from our um, junior airmen, and actually across our junior enlisted branches, we're seeing declining utilization of military one source. And the reason I think that this is important is we're also seeing increases in some of our survey data on stress and anxiety in our junior enlisted forces too. So I think the fact that some of these non-medical counseling programs have been proven to reduce stress and anxiety is important. So I want to talk to you about the research now that showcases that reduction in stress and anxiety. In October 2017, RAND Corporation published a report on DOD non-medical counseling programs. They did an evaluation, it took them about two years, they did an evaluation of Military One Source and the Military and Family Life Counseling Program. We were really excited about the results. We saw that participants who participated in non-medical counseling saw a reduction in problem severity, not just in the short term, but in the long term. We saw that they reported a reduction in the interference of problems in their daily life, which meant that they were able to get back to the job faster. We also saw, and this was really important to us, that they felt comfortable going back to non-medical counseling, but even more importantly, that they felt comfortable referring a friend to non-medical counseling. That more than 90% of participants who participated in non-medical counseling with Military One Source or the Military and Family Life Counseling Program would refer a friend to those resources. So what exactly is confidential non-medical counseling? Confidential non-medical counseling speaks to those day-to-day -day stressors of military life. Everything under the threshold of a mental health diagnosis. So you're talking about um, stress at work, anger, challenges in communication, grief, loss. These are all appropriate reasons to seek non-medical counseling. Does anyone have an idea about the top reason in the military that people seek non-medical counseling? Any idea? What would that be? 
I heard marriage, did I hear marriage? Yeah, relationships is the top reason across all branches of service that people seek non-medical counseling. Any thoughts about the second top reason people seek non-medical counseling? Money. Definitely, money could be related to it because number two is stress. And that could definitely be financial stress. And Erica will be talking about some of the financial resources here shortly. What about the third reason? Anyone have kids? So the third reason is parent-child communications. So I shared a little bit about non-medical counseling being under that threshold of a mental health diagnosis. Um, that being said, it's short-term and solution-focused in nature. We offer non-medical counseling uh, 12 sessions per person per issue which means that any airman out there who maybe has some challenges in their relationship can participate in couples counseling. And then let's say they have some stress about failing a PT test. That could be 12 additional sessions focused on that separate issue. They could also obtain health and wellness coaching, which will come up later as well today. Um, so it's 12 sessions per issue per person. Military OneSource provides non-medical counseling globally. If you're CONUS, you can get a face-to-face -face appointment um, pretty much uh, within 30 minutes, 15 miles, and three business days. There are some exceptions to that, especially for our guard, guard and reserve families, depending on the, uh, the geographic isolation of their location. Uh, but for the most part, three business days, 15 miles, 30 minutes of their location face-to-face -face in their community. You can also do it telephonically or via video. We have couples who participate in couples counseling when, a, when um, one party is deployed and the other is stateside and they can participate in video counseling. So those are some real force multipliers offered through the military uh, one source program. But on the next slide, I'm gonna talk specifically about the military and family life counseling program. Does anyone have MFLAX? Yeah, I see some hands going up. So I think probably everyone's aware of what an MFLAC is. MFLAC uh, is a military and family life counselor. There are more than 2,000 MFLACs worldwide. MFLACs rotate um, depending on the location, and they rotate up to, to somewhat maintain some anonymity for the service members and families that they're serving so that that MFLAC doesn't become sort of a permanent party member. They serve in all kinds of locations. They're kind of a non-traditional counseling resource in that you're not going to walk into um, you know, an office and schedule an appointment with the front desk. Um, they're gonna be walking around, they're embedded in units, they're at family centers, child development centers, schools. Um, one really exciting part of the RAND research that I mentioned earlier is that some forms of MFLEX uh, are, have been deemed more effective than others. So if you are to encounter an MFLEX embedded in a unit, it's actually more effective than when you encounter them at a family center which makes a lot of sense when you think about it. MFLAC embedded in a unit is a resource that airmen may be seeing every single day versus a family center that maybe, if they happen to drop in, they might see them once in a while. But our embedded MFLACs have been shown to be even more effective. Does anyone know how we assign MFLACs? Do you think OSD just decides, let's put 20 here, let's put 20 there, let's put 20 there? So it's entirely responsive to you. So Leaders in the field, go and request MFLAX. You can do it online. Erica will show you the link here this afternoon that you could go to if, say, your unit is experiencing higher stress related to an upcoming deployment, your unit is experiencing higher levels of suicidal ideations, stressors, you can uh, request an additional counseling asset for 30, 60, 90 days or permanent for 12 months uh, with the ability to have it extended for an additional 12 months, again, just based on the needs that are happening on the ground. MFLACs are also responsive to crises. So after the collisions of the USS McCain and USS Fitzgerald, we deployed MFLACs to respond to the service members and families on the ground in Japan. Um, after hurricanes, we have MFLACs who go in and support. It's a deployable, flexible resource that's available to every branch of service at no cost to the branch of service. We can support military spouse employment. Anyone have an idea of what the military spouse unemployment rate is? <clears throat> Any guess? 27? Good guess. What was that? 62, 27? Those are good guesses. 63? <laughs> Google. Okay, Google. It's actually, it's, um, it's somewhat going up. It's at 24% right now. Um, 
it's been over 20% for quite some time. Uh, and military spouse employment um, really matters to the Department of Defense. It really matters to us. We know that, uh, that military spouse satisfaction contributes to whether or not a service member stays in the military. Survey after survey, research uh, project after research project shows us that this remains true, is that military spouse satisfaction tied to military spouse employment is tied to service member retention. And so we feel like it's really vital that we share this information with leaders such as yourselves across the branches of service so you can share it with your airmen and families. So it's really important to know that the Department of Defense provides no cost master's level certified career coaches. They provide them to military spouses uh, five days a week uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. as well as all day on Saturday via Military OneSource just by calling in federal resume review, job search strategies, negotiating salaries, mock interviews. These career coaches can do all of these type of activities with military spouses. Um, it's also important from an actual um, job, obtaining a job perspective, because our career coaches can link military spouses up with the Military Spouse Employment Partnership. The Military Spouse Employment Partnership is a group of more than 390 companies and organizations committed to military spouse hiring. They're committed to recruiting, hiring, promoting, and retaining military spouses and portable job opportunities. Our Military Spouse Employment Partnership companies have hired more than 130,000 military spouses since the partnership launched in 2011. Um, these companies also specialize in offering portable job opportunities, those that can travel with a military spouse. Additionally, through the MySeco website, which is where you can find these jobs, the MySeco website is a kind of a subsite of Military OneSource. Military spouses can also search for scholarship opportunities. They can build their resume, and they can, um, they can work with free career assessment tools that you might pay for in the civilian world, like the Myers-Briggs. I want to talk briefly about the My Career Advancement Account Scholarship. Has anyone ever heard of it? If you could just raise your hand. The My Career Advancement Account Scholarship. So one hand, go up. So this is a, um, it's a scholarship, $4,000 scholarship for junior military spouses. We just had research come out in the fall. Um, again, it was conducted by RAND. And what the research uh, showed us was that military spouses who used the My Career Advancement Account Scholarship earned higher wages after using the scholarship, and their service member was more likely to stay in the service. So this was exciting news for the Department of Defense, again, related to service member retention, as well as uh, higher wages for military spouses. So if you're not familiar with the My Career Advancement Account Scholarship, it's a $4,000 scholarship for military spouses married to service members in pay grades E1 through E5, O1 through O2, and W1 through W2. It can be used towards associate degrees, licenses, certifications, all in pursuit of a portable job opportunity. We consider it a workforce development program. And with that, I want to turn it over to Erica. Thank you so much, Lee, and uh, we're so happy to have this opportunity. Um, as was read in my bio, I am the spouse of a retired Marine for over 20 years. I know, don't feel sorry for me. I did petition the Marine Corps for hazardous duty pay. They denied it for some reason, I don't know why. But um, I, I uh, really love the fact that we provide these resources through the Department of Defense because uh, as a spouse, one who's had to uh, resign from jobs and not know where the next job was going to come from, just, you know, that's just military life. Um, now, that these, now these resources are available through the Department of Defense, such as financial counseling. So uh, how many of you know that Military One Source offers financial counseling services Perfect. I'm so glad that you know that. So when you think about financial counseling, uh, financial, finances is one of the stressors, as some of you mentioned, why, um, why there are challenges in our military community. And so through Military One Source, there are accredited financial counselors that are available year-round to support our service members and families. And so they can help airmen and their families with basic budgeting. Maybe it's money management. Maybe it's saving uh, for retirement. Uh, especially with the blended retirement system, um, airmen and families may not know how to maximize that, that retirement savings account. And so they can call Military One Source, and what the, these accredited financial, financial counselors will do will provide information and education so that airmen and families can make the best decisions for them. I have to share just a little, a little story for you, for, for you, uh, we, um, with you. 
we often get numbers of, of comments come through Military One Source, and so we heard from a service member who calls Military One Source seeking financial counseling, and this service member had a credit score in the low 500s. After speaking with a financial counselor and setting some goals, that, that credit score jumped up to 700. Also, through the, working with a financial counselor, they were able to, serve, to, to save over $20,000 and reduce credit card debt. It is so powerful when you are able to have someone like a financial counselor who's skilled, understands military life, and can provide some resources to support service members and their families. I'd like to also talk to you about Military One Source tax services. We call it Mill Tax. Uh, how many of you have used Military One Source tax services? Awesome, a few hands, a few hands. Now there are lots of uh, companies out there that are offering free tax services, but here's how Military One Source is different. Again, we call it mill tax. Mill tax is really two-pronged. First, beginning January 22nd, we offer the filing of a federal and up to three state tax returns for free through the Military One Source website. Again, three state tax returns. As the spouse of a retired Marine who moved quite often, that is a huge cost savings. One year I had to file in Mississippi, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. Again, a huge cost savings for our service members and families. Very easy to access. You go to the Military One Source website, you uh, create an account, and you're in. The second part of MILTAX is that we offer tax consultants, again, that are available year-round. They are available uh, through the tax season until 11 p.m. and outside of the tax season until 10 p.m., and that's Eastern time. These tax consultants are enrolled agents. They're certified public accountants, and they have other certifications through the IRS. And because our tax consultants understand military life, they're able to understand those nuances with military life. They, under, they understand combat pay. They understand what happens when you have to file them in multiple states. They understand the tax laws. And especially with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, they understand how those new tax laws affect our military members and their families. Again, a great resource for our service members and families and for you. What else can we do for you? Military One Source can be the one-stop shop for information and referrals for every aspect of military life, starting with our youngest service members to those who are separating or retiring from military service. This is what we call our Zen slide. And we call it our Zen slide because we hear from service members and families that it gives them peace of mind knowing that they can reach out to Military One Source 24-7. So if you look at the logo in the middle, that's the entryway to Military One Source. It starts with the master's level consultant who has that education in a social science field who answers that phone call. There are no automated phone menus or voice recordings when you call Military One Source. So often when someone calls, they are very, very surprised that they get to speak to a live person. And so they're able to find the resource quickly to meet their needs. What would you say is the top reason People reach out to Military One Source for, for support. So you see all the services on the Zen slide from, you'll see uh, financial counseling, you'll see adoption, you'll see language services. What do you think is the top reason people reach out to Military One Source? Confidential non-medical counseling, what else? Finances? Actually, the top reason is for the Spouse Education and Career Opportunities Program. That is the number one reason. The second is confidential non-medical counseling, as Lee talked about. Third, financial and tax services. But did you know the Military One Source offers support with adoptions? Very great resource to have. And Military One Source can help military families navigate uh, the adoption process, not only for domestic, adoptions, but for international adoptions as well. Another resource that Military One Source offers, health and wellness coaching. And now oftentimes people say, oh, you know, I, ha I have a life coach. You often hear that. Well, out uh, in, if you had to pay for a life coach, it could cost anywhere from $100 to $300 an hour. Well, we offer that for free through Military One Source. This is a health and wellness coach that can help airmen and families around stress management, 
passing the physical fitness test. Maybe it's nutrition. Maybe it's physical fitness goals. That's where a health and wellness coach can come into play. They offer their services by telephone, by video, and online. Again, a fantastic resource. Other, other resources that we offer through Military OneSource, language interpretation services, 24 seven. If there is a family member who needs support in another language, they can call Military OneSource to receive support. That is 24 seven. 24 seven. We will get on the line with uh, and conduct a three-way call with an interpreter so that family member can get support. The other uh, service that we offer that deals with language is document translation services. Both of these are offered in more than 150 languages. What would you say is the top document that Military One Source translates? Official document. Marriage, licenses, what else? Wills, birth certificates. Ding, 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 birth certificates. That is the number one document. School transcripts. Also marriage licenses. All of those are official documents that we can translate. The only thing that we would not be able to translate would be medical records. However, what we would do is we would provide a warm handoff, maybe it's to a resource that's in, available in the local community. So when we talk about military one source providing that one-stop shop, what the consultant will do when they answer the phone, is we'll find the best resource to meet that airman and, fam airman and family's needs. Whether that resource is provided through Military One Source, or maybe it's through the Airmen and Family Readiness Center, or maybe it's out in the local community, Military One Source will help airmen and families connect those dots. I'd like to talk to you about some new offerings through Military One Source. In May of last year, our office worked with the Office of Special Needs within Military Community and Family Policy to introduce the Exceptional Family Member Program Resources, Options, and Consultations. I know it's long, EFMP rock. But we, what we really wanted to do was to demonstrate what we can offer to service members and their families. Through EFMP rock, service members and families can be connected with a master's level consultant who has expertise in working with children and adults with disabilities. And what military one source, or with, with disabilities or with special needs. And what, what military one source will do is they will uh, outline an action plan. They will ask, okay, what have you tried? Uh, what are some things that you have not tried? And we'll build an action plan around that family member's needs. Those consultants, the consultations are unlimited and they are also are available not only by phone but by video. So we've enhanced those services. The other way that we've enhanced support for families with special needs is that we have on staff a TRICARE point of contact. Oftentimes, military, military families with special needs have uh, challenges in navigating the TRICARE system. Well, the consultant through Military One Source will connect that family member to TRICARE so that they can get their needs, their needs met. One of the other offerings we introduced was building healthy relationships. And what we've heard from military families is that, well, you know, I'm not really interested in non-medical counseling, but I'm looking for some resources just to enhance my relationship, looking for some tools to enhance my relationship. So we offered building healthy relationships. These consultations are education-based. So think of going to a relationship class where you have a consultant who is right there, give you homework assignments, and is able to support you along the way. We have curriculum focused on being, staying connected while away. We also have curriculum uh, for parents who need to connect with their children. Again, these are fantastic offerings through Military One Source that could be helpful to airmen and their families. One of the other uh, resources we want to make sure that you know about is the boots on the ground support that Military One Source offers. Lee and I have been talking about the call center support, but Military One Source offers state consultants. These are consultants that are, that are assigned in every state. There are 53 of them. There are two that are, are in California and two who support Texas. Their job is to go out and talk to service members and families, talk to them about Military One Source, share all the different resources that are available in that local community. And Lee had mentioned the link uh, that is right there on the slide. You can go on and request Military One Source to come out to an event to talk about Military One Source through a briefing like we're giving today or to set up a resource table and bring 
uh, bring uh, various information, um, various information that can be put on the table. So we want to make sure that you know about a military one source state consultant that can support you where you live, where you serve. And speaking of serve, who do we serve? Well, all active duty National Guard and Reserve, regardless of activation status, there are immediate families and survivors. And we have that fifth bullet highlighted in bold because we want to make sure that you know that with the president's signing of the NDAA in August, it was actually August 13th of last year, Military One Source was extended to those who are separating or retiring up to one year past separation. That is huge for a transitioning service member. We know that oftentimes that that six month mark where we initially had our eligibility just wasn't enough. I was still trying to figure out what we were going to do at that transition mark. But having that full year of support allows service members and families to still access the resources, many of the resources that we just talked about, and um, will be able to help them help support their transition, whether that's non-medical counseling or it's financial counseling. So please, we know that uh, for those who are transitioning or separating, we want to make sure that they know that they're still eligible for a military one source up to one year. So please help us spread the word. I love to talk about the Military One Source website. Absolutely love to talk about it. Who's been to the Military One Source website? All right, that's fantastic. I'm glad you have done, you've done that. One of the things that we hear through Military One Source, just the feedback is, wow, Military One Source, you've got a great website, but there's so much information there. I don't know what I'm looking for. I can't find what I'm looking for. Well, uh, we have uh, answered that call because what we did is we optimized our search engine to make it easier for you to find the information that you're looking for. There are also international calling options so that you don't have to pay to call Military One Source. So on the website, no matter if you're in Germany or you're in Mississippi, you can contact Military One Source for free. Also through Military One Source, there are tons of products. We want to make sure that you are armed with those products and you can um, pass those products out to airmen and families to support their needs, like chill drills, like Lee talked about before. Have you heard of a chill drill? Chill drill. Raise your hand if you've heard of a chill drill. A few. Okay. So you want to arm yourself with a chill drill. Chill drills. Are a, are a set of deep breathing relaxation exercises. These are available through Military One Source via download, and you can get this nifty play away. You can order through the Military One Source website. These were originally created by a licensed therapist who was seeing service members coming back from combat and experiencing stress. Well, uh, based on with uh, the using after using these til, these chill drills. They saw decreased signs of stress, lower blood pressure. By, uh, by, lar by and large, these are the most popular resources that's available through the Military One Source website. We see this, the number one um, item ordered through Military One Source. So we want to make sure that you know about uh, the chill drills. The other resource I'd like to talk to you about is the MWR library, the digital library. Now, on installations, there are certainly, uh, there's a library. That's available, but we also want we also made a digital library available through Military One Source. Through this library, we offer Mango Languages, where you can learn over 70 foreign languages. We also offer consumer reports if you're looking for maybe your washer broke down, your dryer broke down, and you're looking for another product to replace that. Through Military One Source, you can access you can access that library and learn uh, and actually download the consumer report. There are also a number of other databases. If you have children, maybe the science project is coming up, then there are resources to help children. There's SAT, ACT prep courses, and just tons of other resources for adults and children through the MWR library. Um, if you're learning to, if you're learning to, or if you're looking to uh, learn about your family history, through Military One Source, we have an, the Ancestry Library that's powered by Ancestry.com. Again, fantastic resources that we want airmen and families to know about, in addition to some of the other services like non-medical counseling and financial counseling. 
I always like to talk about the other resilience tools. I mentioned some people call military one source and maybe they're not looking for non-medical counseling, but they're just looking for some tools and resources to support them. So we find these resilience tools as a, an extension of military one source. First, we offer what's called Mood Hacker. And Mood Hacker allows service members and their families to track their mood. And so every day they will go into this, into Mood Hacker and identify what their mood is on a scale from one to 10. Maybe I'm a one because my Marine didn't take out the trash. Maybe I'm a 10 because my Marine came home from the deployment. So over time, you're able to see what are the activities that, are, that boost your mood and what are the activities that lower your mood. Seems very simple, but a picture is a thousand words. And uh, this is, again, one of, one of the most popular resources through Military OneSource. You can open up your Mood Hacker profile to a coach through Coach Hub and be able to connect with a coach that will be able to offer their services online. And you can get support around stress management physical fitness, and again, weight loss goals. And then third, one of the most popular tools, again, through Military One Source is called Love Every Day. Who doesn't want love every day, right? So through, through Military One Source, we have this tagline that, that says, do you text often but say very little? I know I have. So what, this is how Love Every Day works. I would go into a website, I would put my, mo my mobile number, my significant other would put their mobile number, and every day for 21 days we would receive an interesting text. And maybe that text would read something like, what's the best relationship advice you've ever received? Well, once I answer, once my significant other answers, then we're, ba we're able to both see each other's answers on the same mobile device. Now, I did this with my Marine and it was a very interesting exercise. <sighs> so, you know, I'm, uh, I can be very verbose sometimes. And so when I got the question, what's the best relationship advice you ever received? I went on and on and on and on. He came back with like one word, two word answers, but it was okay because what I like about love every day is that especially for service members and families, it's about talking more than about a to-do list, right? Our conversation often gets centered around a to-do list. Love Every Day is, um, is proven to enhance the quality of relationships. Again, uh, if you have a significant other, I encourage you, if you wanna score brownie points, uh, ask your significant other to sign up and you sign up for Love Every Day, you, it will take you far. We always like to include some quotes of what we hear uh, airmen and families say and service members in general, but we pulled a, a few quotes here. And these quotes really emphasize the fact that it's leaders, leaders who are sharing information about military one source with their, air, with their airmen and with families. I like the last quote here. And it was from an airman who said, you know, I never really used military one source before, but now that I have used military one source, I'm just, I'm so grateful for it, but I'm going to continue to share this resource with others. It's like, um, you know, when you uh, try a product out for yourself, that's when you're able to share it with other people because there's that personal testimony there. So what we'd like to do is, um, there is a card called Keep This Card. And it, it is what it says. <laughs> we want you to keep this card. We designed this card to be um, a card that is very succinct, that tells, tells airmen and families exactly what they can expect through Military One Source, from confidential non-medical counseling to uh, free tax filing services. What we'd like for you to do is, first, if you've never used Military One Source, check out the digital library. Any of the resources that we've talked about, check out Love Every Day. Explore the services for yourself. Second, Share your feedback. We are here to listen to your needs. Military One Source continues to evolve to meet the needs of our military community. Way back in the day when we began, and when Military One Source began as a pilot program in 2002, we only offered non-medical counseling, face-to-face, uh, -face, near military installations, and now we have grown. And that's based on the changing dynamics of our military community. So please, share your feedback. Try the service, let us know what you think. And lastly, leverage our support. Whether it's through military and the Military and Family Life Counseling Program, where you uh, 
where you leverage the support of an MFLAC or a military one source state consultant. These are tools that you can add to your toolbox so that airmen and their families can thrive. You'll see that this card is being passed around. Again, we want to put this in this card in every airman and family's uh, hands because we believe that it provides a, a great service for our, for our military community. We have a shared goal and we want to make sure that we're meeting uh, your needs as well. <clears throat> well, before we move into questions, I wanted to ask uh, if anyone heard anything so far that they didn't know about the program resources. Did you hear anything that you didn't know already? <clears throat> okay, I'm seeing some hands go up. Okay. Is anyone willing to keep the contact number in their phone? Anyone who put it in willing to keep it? That's terrific. Thank you very much. I want to um, just take a moment to foot stomp something that Erica said about, she, she brought up uh, starting with a subscription to the MWR library. And we know the pivotal role that leaders play in helping to normalize help-seeking behavior. So by you having that phone number in your phone, when you work with an airman and you can make it as easy as, let's just step into this office, we can make the call together, uh, ask the question, or just show that you have that number in your phone to help normalize that process, that can be such a tremendous influencer on our young airmen and uh, across our service members and families. And when Erica talked about the subscription to MWR, we see that as such a, such a first step. If we can normalize the process of reaching out to Military OneSource by using an Ancestry.com subscription at no cost, then maybe that next time that airman or that family member needs support, they think about Military OneSource. Because chances are, if you use a resource, then you're going to learn about another resource. And that's because those triage consultants that Erica talked about are trained to listen to the stated and unstated needs. So maybe I am calling for financial counseling, but maybe I really need some communication support as well with my significant other. So just by making that call for something like a subscription to a magazine, it can really open the door and help facilitate that help-seeking behavior for airmen and families. So thank you very much for uh, being willing to keep that contact number in your phone, and we hope you use it. Um, I did uh, want to open it up for any questions you have about the Military and Family Life Counseling Program, about Military One Source, about Military Spouse Employment. Any questions from the, yes? Ma'am Kevin Price, I'm here um, offering language support to some of these countries here, I know there's several here, and I've heard a lot of interest about this. I've spoken to them before about the, the benefits that our country has in our DOD. Oh, my father. Mike's Sorry, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Hi, this is Captain Price. Uh, I'm offering language support to some of the countries here. And I guess the question they have is what initiated Military One Source? What, what drove that? Um, how are you funded? I believe it's through DOD. And if they were, because these are the senior enlisted of their countries, mm -hmm. and they see a huge benefit in this, especially because of the. Um, the confidentiality behind a lot of the, the programs you have and the resources you have. So if you can tell us a little bit about that, so I know they would want to go back and maybe start something like this or at least uh, begin that dialogue. Thank you for that question. That's a great question. Uh, we work a lot with our international um, colleagues. Uh, we recently hosted in 2018 the Australian Defense Force at the um, Military One Source Call Center. There's three call centers. We um, do... We do a significant number of tours uh, at our Arlington, Virginia call center because it is right near the Pentagon and it's accessible to so many people. So we have hosted um, international defense forces at the call center before to talk about that topic in particular. And really the, the impetus for military one source came post 9-11 um, and with the ramp up of more frequent deployments and, and, and a need for virtual offerings, particularly for our guard and reserve families, uh, military one source uh, became the 24 seven call center. So. We know brick and mortar family centers may have limited hours, eight to four maybe on base. This was a great uh, complementary uh, partnership with installation, installation services, uh, knowing that you could reach out to, um, to a live human being 24 seven. And again, garden reservists from um, maybe geographically isolated locations could reach out, ask questions. So it really, um, it really stood up, up and took off after 9-11. Um, 2004, the Department of Defense um, 
It expanded it to cover all the services. I believe it started um, just with a pilot with the Marine Corps and then expanded across uh, the services. It's funded through the Office of Military, Community, and Family Policy, which is under the Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness. So our office and military community and family policy um, funds the program. Uh, these are contracted services. Um, all the Military and Family Life Counseling Program, Military One Source, Spouse Education, Career Opportunities Program, these are all funded contracts through the Department of Defense. Any, any other, um, other questions? I can't tell if folks are going to the mics or they're just walking away. <laughs> Other questions? I do have a number of questions uh, for this group because it's a rare opportunity to have uh, more than 500 chiefs in a room. Um, so if you don't have questions for me, I do have questions for you. <laughs> That's not a threat. <laughs> uh, any questions? What are the top stressors impacting your airmen and families today? Manning and ops tempo. Relationships. relationships. Mm -hmm. For something like relationships, where do you point airmen and families? Me personally, MFLAC. Yep. MFLAC, okay. MFLAC's the most, um, the most kind of popular provision of services from the MFLAC is for our, um, uh, often for young enlisted married couples, usually newly married. Our MFLACs stay very busy with couples counseling. Financial services help young airmen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear anything in the financial services realm that you thought might be useful in addition to base services today? Maybe, maybe not. I think the, the piece about military one source that can be helpful is that if you don't have it on base, or you're working with a family who maybe doesn't live on base or can't get to base, these can be complimentary services. So it's always a nice piece to have in your back pocket if there's a, not a personal financial counselor on base, but sometimes there is, and if you're just not sure how to find them, that's another way that military one source can help. Let's, let's say you don't know if there's an MFLAC at your base. I sometimes think about the MFLAC program as the witness protection program because it's hard to kind of find them sometimes, and are they there, are they not there? Do we have MFLACs? Military One Source has a directory of MFLAX. So if you're ever wondering, does my base have MFLAX? Military One Source can tell you and give you the phone numbers for the MFLAX in your location. Any other, any other stressors impacting airmen and families today? Ops, tempo, relationships, finance? Adjusting to military life. Adjusting to military life, that's a good one. I'll tell you that from a military one source perspective, because we have seen declining utilization in our junior enlisted, we've made a concerted effort in recent years to engage at basic training graduations. So I think we're at Lackland. We're at Lackland um, now for the Air Force, and um, we're there with a table to talk with families um, about the services that we offer to airmen. And the other um, new ad that we had in 2018 was to um, provide a continual touch point for new military spouses. So if you contact Military One Source as a military spouse during your first year as a part of the military community, we ask you if we can call you back in a couple months. So we try to reach out to new military spouses four times a year. But uh, adjusting to military life is such a huge, um, can be such a huge hurdle, not only for the service members, but the family member as well. And so that's definitely an area that we, um, we aim to support. From what you heard today, what could we do better? What programs didn't you hear that you wish you did? What need didn't you hear being addressed? We kind, of, we kind of look at ourselves as an employee assistance program in a lot of ways. So anything that you, can, that you recognize as being a need that the Department of Defense could do a better job of meeting through resources like those that might be available through an employee assistance program. Knowing that we can't do anything about ops tempo and assignments and things, but from an employee assistance perspective. Did anyone hear something that they... Develop an app. Develop an app? An app to do what? For your website. And, okay, 
just to, just to bring forward this information. The website was created mobile first, so it's mobile friendly, and you can live chat uh, on the mobile app, which we discovered a little earlier today. Um, <clears throat> but no, I think the point about an app is well taken. Um, live chat, I know Erica mentioned, is something that's growing in popularity. It's, um, it's something that month after month we see growing numbers of individuals using live chat. And we think it's because um, airmen, um, any, across any branch of service, really, any service member, if they're at work, maybe more comfortable live chatting a question on the website than stepping away from the desk to make a phone call. So it kind of lets you discreetly take care of your question or make a counseling appointment. Frankly, you can do that from your desktop as well. But I think a mobile app is a point well taken about obtaining some of these uh, resources and connections. Anything else that you um, see as a need that could potentially be met through a program, whether it's the MFLAC program, Military One Source, or Spouse Employment? Ma'am, this is Senior Master Sergeant Ford from Stuttgart, Germany. Do you all offer uh, assistance with um, child care for personnel, maybe single parents who uh, are deployed and maybe are new to an area and don't have family or uh, friends that can watch their children? <clears throat> that is such a great question. If, um, if you have takeaways from today, I hope um, that this is one of them if you didn't know this already, and I don't, most people don't know this. You can really outsource your to-do list to Military One Source. If you're a single parent and you're about to move to a new area and you need childcare options, you need a list of verified, licensed childcare facilities with openings, um, you can call Military One Source and place that research request with them. And they will take, depending on how emergent that request is, if it's an emergency, like I'm a reservist and I'm about to lose my home, we would consider that an emergent request. Or if it's something like I'm moving in two months, we might take several days to do that research. But we have research um, consultants who will find those childcare facilities for that single parent find the ones that have openings, find the ones that have availability on the weekends, and they'll make those calls and do all of that legwork for a service member or family member. It's just part of our offerings. And um, I think it's a, a huge value add because really it is trying to outsource your to-do list. Give it to somebody else, have them come back and, uh, with the research findings for you. So that's how we contribute in the kind of the childcare space as far as uh, trying to do that legwork. Hello, ma'am. My name is uh, Senior Master Sergeant Gloria Wilson. I work at the Pentagon. So as I heard a lot of the presentation, my sister, unfortunately, about two years ago, lost her active duty husband. So it says this is helpful to survivors. She's lucky that she has me to bring back this information to her. But how do we get out that information to someone who might not have a direct connection to know these resources are available? So we rely, um, we rely significantly on our partnerships. So every um, year we'll be supporting, um, every year you know, over the past years that I can remember, we've supported the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors um, Good Grief Camp over Memorial Day weekend. So we do a lot of work with TAPS to reach our survivor uh, population who remain eligible for Military One Source as well as uh, their dependent children. Um, and, and that really is how we um, get the word out um, to survivors is through mainly our non, uh, nonprofit partners. We, um, we have a group within the Military Spouse Employment Partnership called the Spouse Ambassador Network. And that Spouse Ambassador Network is made up of more than 25 mainly nonprofit organizations like National Military Family Association, Military Officers Association of America, TAPS. And these groups will help uh, channel our information and resources to their networks, which we've found to be a tremendous value add. We can't, um, we can try our darndest, but getting the word out um, to our global force is a constant challenge given information overload. But when we can tap into networks that already exist, maybe through Air Force Association or Association of the United States Army, those volunteer networks or uh, networking networks uh, can be such a benefit to us when we're trying to uh, raise awareness about expanded benefits or just benefits, period. That was a really good question. Thank you for that. Any other questions? 
No other questions? All right, well, um, my contact information is on the slide. If at any point anyone has a question about resources, a concern, um, did uh, a resource not work as you thought it was going to for one of your airmen or family members? We really want to hear about it. That's our job. Um, if you have a need in the field that's not being met, again, that's our job. Erica mentioned some of the new resources that we developed in 2018. Those are responsive to requests in the field. So, um, so I really just implore you to uh, share your feedback. This is such a great opportunity for us to be here with you. We're very appreciative of it. and We hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.